Hey, a pleasant good evening, Kings and Capitals fans. This is Sports and Night News. I'm Joe Boric, being quieter for this video since people are sleeping. But the Kings lose an absolute heartbreaker on home ice in Los Angeles as they go down after another brilliant game play by John Quick. Is he back? It certainly looks like it. Um, and he played a brilliant game. They go down 2 nothing to Garnett Hathaway, who scored both of the goals, one being an empty netter and one being a nice goal. Well, a fortunate goal in front, but a nicely assisted goal to Garnett Hathaway that he honestly should have buried on the first attempt if he was actually able to control the pass and wouldn't have had to get a fortunate bounce when he's able to bat it out of the air. Um, and then when it comes to the capital, watching that kid protest play, he has no points in five games. A guy that probably could use a little bit more grooming in the minors at least because of the, those big boys you draft in the third round. Um, obviously, as they develop, sometimes they take a bit longer to get NHL skating legs, but that's to be expected. But that dude's a, that dude's a beast. On the, just looks like a beast and a future beast when you just look at him point blank on the ice. He's huge. Um, but with this game, a guy that I did like that I watched um, in this game, other than Mikey Anderson, who I tend to just like every single game I watch him in, and Victor Arvidsson, who I tweeted about, at jj 26 if you want to follow me on Twitter, um, that he's one of the more fun, underrated players to watch in the league and has been for a very long time. Of course, it's some 60-point seasons in his time in Nashville, as well as a 30-some goal season. I think it was 34 goals, if my memory serves correctly. Um, and then Arthur Kaliev had a couple of nice chances. The Kings, just like their fortunate, or very good broadcast, I mean, pointed out, um, did have more of the mistakes in their own zone that Jonathan Quick had to bail them out for, who played a hell of a game again and is playing like an absolute beast um, to start this season. According to the NHL app, the Kings are now 8-6-2 after that game, with the Capitals being 10-2-5. So this was a game... The Capitals battle to the bitter end, but Peter Laviolette's already said it. That's kind of how it's particularly with the people <coughs> out, excuse me, with the people out right now for them. They're going to have to play those kind of grinded out, dirty win games, and that's how they were able to win this game as quick now moves to 4-3 and three and 1 with a 9-3-5 and a 1-9-8 save percentage. According to that, assuming um, this updated... Um, for the NHL app already, but he's still having a hell of a season, and a guy that if he keeps playing like this and the Kings stay more at an average team at like the 500 mark or a couple games over, somebody will definitely be interested in getting their hands on Jonathan Quick if he keeps playing at a very high level because he obviously has the great winning pedigree and cups, and anybody's going to want that when he has his stellar playback, and he looks particularly, knock on wood, very healthy this year. But Capitals, the player of the game, obviously is Garnett Hathaway. Um, when it comes to the rest of the team, a guy that did step up in this game, who's had a good goals against, but a bad save percentage this far, who's been inconsistent, and he always has Sam Sonoff, had a good game and made 34 saves to get a shutout and looked very locked in in this game. Another star of the game would have to be the other goaltender, Jonathan Quick, who, again, as I said earlier, bailed the Kings out on a couple plays in this game. And the Capitals won a game that that's kind of their play style, where the Kings had to try to play the Capitals' play style, and did. They grinded pretty well um, playing the Capitals' play style until the bitter end when Garnett Hathaway was able to get a very nice uh, bounce to be able to fortunately go to him. But it happens. I mean... You lose these tough games. It's all about now trying to move on as the LA Kings and kind of grow from showing just kind of the spunk you had and the compete you had with such a good team as such as the Capitals, who still look like a very competitive, very hard to play team, even with the people they have out. And they are a team that is going to be a potential cup contender this year. They fought to the bitter end. This is a game that you got to learn and grow from. But it's a good game for the Kings to be able to build on. Obviously, they got a roster of <clears throat> many solid young guys playing, like the Arthur Kaliev's, um, Cleggs, and Kupari, who I did really like. He played 10-23 of ice time, and Brendan Lemieux had a couple nice hits as well. Um, I liked how both of them played. I think Kupari is a guy that if you 
go to acquire some guys that are mentioned in trades, might end up being moved for the Kings, but if they keep him, will be a very good player for them for the foreseeable future as well. But this was a game the Capitals um, won the way that the Capitals want to play a game right now. And kudos to them for being able to get that win. Not the team I wanted to have win. That would have been the LA King. A good game for Jonathan Quick, who would be one of our stars of the game as well, as the Ilya Samsonov, with obviously the first star having to be Garnett Hathaway since he was the entire offense um, for them tonight when it came to the Washington Capitol. So congratulations, Capitals fans, on the 2 to nothing shutout led by Ilya Samsonov and Garnett Hathaway over the LA Kings. And congratulations, Kings fans, for having that good point streak. Fortunately, it comes an end. Now you've got to bounce back next game. But also having Jonathan Quick look like he snapped back and is the Jonathan Quick that we all love and desire again. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe.